Assassin's Creed, we talked about how Assassin's Creed came out with an apology, right? A quote-unquote apology. But they got community noted. If you guys didn't know, they got commun community noted. Right over here, they got community noted Rip Bozo situation. This is from Asmin Gold's uh, subreddit right over here. Update, it looks like Ubisoft demanded to remove the community note from their post. Or it's been downvoted, which is weird. It was high, uh, it was rated as helpful when I saw it in the image below. As you can see, it's been rated helpful for 16 hours straight and suddenly it disappeared. So right over here, So basically, it was community noted. Historical accuracy has been confirmed. It has all the information we need to reconstruct what your panel was like in 16th century. It's well described. Conduct a thorough uh, research to compare the results with experts, historical images, historical fidelity, maintain its faithful, fa faithfully depicts real historical figures and events of other time. Therefore, this message contradicts the previous statements made by the development staff. Right? If you if you go over there. Scroll all the way down. If this is the actual, the actual note right over here, and it's right over here. This is the actual note. Although the, it states that the games in the Assassin's Creed series are not made with the purpose of recreating historical facts or historical figures, in an interview, development staff stated, right, is basically not really true. Now, if you actually go to, it, it's gone. It's actually gone. It's not there anymore. So I wonder what happened. Right? Yeah, like the thing is that, like, if you actually go back to the Reddit post, right over here, it has, uh, right over there, 16 hours, currently rated helpful, 132,000 views on it, shown on X. Provides important context, easy to understand right over there. And then you go over here, it's gone. I guarantee someone at Ubisoft contacted X and says, you need to remove this shit. You can see their community, you know, I can't. It's not there on mine. It's gone. Tombi, you're in uh, Australia, right? It's not on mine. Right? You are, you're in Australia. You're okay, you're UK? Okay. So you're UK? Okay, I I don't see it here in the US. It's gone. Huh. You are, but you are in the community program, so I'm not, right? So the thing is, why can't we see it then? I can add and vote on them. Oh, so probably it's still there for people who are people who are part of the community program, but they're not visible to normies who are not. Oh, they just hid it from the normies. Huh, that's interesting. It's been put back into needs more ratings. All right, let me refresh it. I don't see it still. Damn. Damn. So I wonder how many bots Assassin's Creed and Ubisoft used to downvote it. Right? Because it's not, it's not there anymore for me. I did see it earlier. Like when I say earlier, I'm talking about like yesterday. Like early yesterday or uh, day before yes, or, or maybe even early today. Huh. There are currently eight notes. All need more votes against them to be visible to normies. Oh, damn. So I guarantee there are some people who made a bunch of dummy accounts and downvoted it. I, I, I think that's what they did. There has to be something that they did, right? Like people who who people who are part like may, may maybe who are bad actors I don't know people who are like I, I, da, damn but I know why okay I I know why th they did it and the thing is that it's it's oh that that's sort of messed up now here's the thing though 
if they want actual representation, in my opinion, right, Ubisoft could have contacted Johnny Somali. Since Johnny Somali is now a historical, authentic depiction of a black man in Japan, it just happened last year. It's recommended that Ubisoft incorporate him into the game so that it is even more authentic and updated for modern audiences. <laughs> Time I got reincarnated to feudal Japan in order to harass the Japanese. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. Gonna send each each of the notes to you as a screen grabs via Twitter. Yeah, send yeah, send it my way. Oh man. Oh man. Oh my era. Niwa something dio. Oh my god, dude. Jesus, man. Yeah, Johnny Sumali as the new and improved Yasuke. The actual samurai. Oh, you send it to me? Alright. Alright, let me check it out. Alright, cool. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, uh, let's see. Thanks, Tombi. Thank you, Tom Tombe. Uh, there it is. Thank you, Tombi. So this is from Tombi right over here. These are the actual community notes right here. Uh, needs more ratings. Not shown on X. Although it says that Assassin's Creed games are not made more purpose for creating historical facts or historical figures. In interviews, development staff. Okay, so basically, that's one. Yasuke has been... Uh, brought to the forefront, but that is not all. In addition to the company's stance as a historical production company, the company has also come under fire for its lack of compliance in creating works using plagiarized material. Oh, shit. Number one, in interviews, the company and uh, other places where the developers have made statements such as, we are faithfully depicting historical figures and events, which they are pretending to be historical facts. Number two, they have... Uh, committed copyright infringement and are dealing with copyright holders dishonestly. The flag of the Sekigahara Rifle Corps is used without permission. The, the sword from One Piece is plagiarized. There's a summary. Now, here's another one. Assassin's Creed's overseas accounts have posted content that differs from this with the official English account stating that whether Yasuke was a samurai is debatable, which differs from this post. Yo, thank you. Thank you for that, man. Thank you, Tombi. That that definitely helps a lot, man. Because, like I said, when you actually go to the actual uh, the actual post, it is not there. It is not there, so it's not visible. It is not visible. I wonder how angry people in Japan are, right? Translate post is one of them. I think the story about Yasuke should have been considered fiction based on Yasuke. The issue of this historical retelling is no longer a UBI issue, but a Lockley issue. However, Yasuke is no longer the problem. The plagiarism of materials from manga, organizations, and cultural heritage sites, the misinterpretation of Japanese history, and the misinter misinterpretation of J uh, Japanese as Chinese, among other things, show disregard for Japan. The problem is D, uh, the bomb for these, right? So basically, people who are people who are Japan who are actually complaining about it. There's another one. Well, he made a he made a long one. He typed an essay out. First, let's make this clear. Uh, once uh, one of your game developers previously said that Assassin's Creed game was set in Japan and wouldn't sell because he believed that there was a lack of interest. However, after that massive success of Ghost of Tsushima. You started working on a game set in Japan, so please stop saying that you've wanted to make this game for a long time. That's a patent lie. Damn, getting called out. Secondly, you did not consult knowledgeable people in Japan. You consulted with one or two questionable individuals who erroneously stated that Yasuke was a samurai. One of them is not an expert on the period and has written a book about sexual relations between monks and boys, which is the Asian girl we talked about, which has absolutely no relation to the historical narrative of Oda Nobunaga's rise to power, unless you intend to include it in the game. Now, here's the thing. We already know that they're making Naoe and Yasuke. You can have you can have sex with boys and men and women. Okay, men and women. They're, they're basically you, you can have sex uh, with with any kind of I don't know, it's pansexual, or whatever, right? Unless you intend to include it in the game, it is very inappropriate and irrelevant 
uh, reference. Sorry, but no one wants to hear that, especially in a game marketed to teenagers and children. It's just confusing. You told investors that you received great praise and positive reviews for your Star Wars Outlaws and Assassin's Creed Shadow trailers, ignoring that they were among the most disliked trailers. In fact, these two products received poor reviews and you even hid pre-order information from investors, meaning you lied not only to critics, but also to the people who invested in your games. This is almost illegal. Secondly, your apology to the Japanese community came from the pressure you face because of woke and because of woke media, narrative consultants or marketing opinion makers could not use the typical excuse of labeling critics as racist and bigots. This issue uh, has even been raised in the Japanese diet as cultural appropriation and even worse, making Yasuke look like one of the most important figures in Japanese history. Now you are marketing, sorry, you are making this insecure apology because you are afraid of being fined this is not a good marketing in any sense moreover your stock price has been halved and you still refuse to admit your mistake and make any meaningful changes now let's go ahead and check out ubisoft stock let's check out check it out again it went down from yesterday when i checked i checked here I checked here, I checked here yesterday, around this time. It's around 19, now it's at 18. Thomas Lockley, Yasuke fanboy, has deleted all of his histor historical content and media grooms gone to the ground. Good. Fuck him. Let's see right here. Furthermore, in the next Assassin's Creed game, all the previous protagonists were unique and original characters with no historical ties. So suddenly, who decided to make a questionable historical figure that no one wants to play as the main character? To make matters worse, they introduced an original female character of Japanese origin who fits the culture of the game. But if you want to play as a male character, you are forced to play as Yasuke who doesn't fit the same cultural narrative and you can't customize him. Why do this now? Why didn't they do it in uh, the other Assassin's Creed games? Whoever made this decision should be fired. This is a very disrespectful. This is very disrespectful to Japanese players and other Assassin's Creed fans who have been asking for a customizable character and characters that have accurately represent the culture of the game setting for years. We've always played characters connected to our culture. Whether we played as Edward Kenway when we were pirates or Ezio in Italy or Connor in in the native american in america native american in america furthermore you did not base yasuke on an actual place of origin i.e from zim uh, mozambique this represents a completely different culture then and now yet you did the most racist thing of associating yasuke with black american culture by using a hip-hop song when fighting in the game what does Yasuke have to do with black American culture? I will tell you why. Because people in your company think that all black people are the same. Damn, this guy is cooking them. This guy, he's freaking, he's freaking Gordon Ramsay. He fucking puts two bread. What are you? An idiot sandwich. Oh, man. Yeah, man, you see, uh, you think all black people are the same and all black people are American and all black people like hip hop. That is very racist and ignorant. You think that black culture does not exist outside of black American culture and you ignore diverse cultures of Africa. How can you be so racist? Furthermore, your game does not accurately represent Japanese cultural references. You incorporate art and architecture that is not from the correct period or is not Japanese, but is actually from China. Uh, this clearly shows that you do not have experts or you hire incompetent people. Please be more responsible. Holy crap. This guy cooked them. Holy. Holy damn. Arigato. Oh, man.
Oh, see, of course you got you, you, you got Ubisoft uh, cocksuckers and cock writers over here pretending to be Japanese using Google Translate. Oh, this is embarrassing. Laugh out loud. Nope, I am not pretending anything. I just posted my reply in Japanese section too because I agree with my Japanese friends. What is your problem? What are those people who think only people from certain countries should complain about the same things? Yep. Whether or not this guy is Japanese or not, he used uh, what's it called? He basically translated uh he basically used google translate what he thought in my opinion it's fine right it's because he's basically telling the the, the people from japan this is not okay but yeah he cooked them uh like i said just have johnny somali in there just have johnny somali i think that's fine man people are people are upset man people are upset here's another one Thanks to your company, I was able to become aware of historical changes being made by forces of globalization against Japan. Thank you very much. Damn. Damn. Let's see. What's this guy say? Rejected. If they stop development and use the money and manpower saved to make Ghost a Recon a great game, I'll forgive them. Damn. People are pissed. Let's read this last one right over here. I've almost played all the previous games, but especially love Assassin's Creed Origins. Origins was a story about Bayek, an Egyptian uh, whose culture and religion are completely different from ours. To be honest, in the beginning of the game, the characters' views on life and death customs and religious terminology were all foreign to me, and I found many parts difficult to get into. However, as I played the game, these skills naturally came to me, and I felt I was able to identify with Bayek uh who ha was completely different cultural background to us it, it was a wonderful game i also believe that there is no other work that excels in constructing the world of egypt at the time so in the original famitsu interview it was written in that order to depict medieval japan we were looking for a samurai who could represent us even though we are not japanese i am very disappointed with the statement there may be a difference in the nuance of translation, but I couldn't believe that it was coming from the company that made Origins. I think what's most worrying about this current uproar is whether or not this game is contributing to historical revisionism. To be honest, the issues involved are beyond my ability to handle, so I will leave that to the experts. But the thing that worries me the most is the fundamental philosophy behind how the world is depicted in this game. Rather than a depiction that pursues detailed realism like Origins, which recreates the world of the time in the game, I strongly hope for an experience that allows you to become one with the world. As fans of the series, I hope that Shadows doesn't end up just being a work set in Japan during the Sengoku period. And the thing is that I... I agree with a lot of why people people are upset. Let's say if they made a video game about Hong Kong and I grew up in Hong Kong or something or China and I, or I grew up in China or whatever it is. Like people will call out everything that looks wrong, everything that's incorrect, right? If you make a game about Ubi Urban Assassin's Creed, Urban Assassin's Creed um Los Angeles. Right? I grew up in LA and then you did it at a time period maybe it's like you are like Robin Hood or some shit like some shit like that, right? And if you're getting things wrong, people are gonna call you out on it, whether you like it or not, right? And the thing is that if you if you get if you call you call them out, you're saying that Yasuke was not very samurai. According to them, it's like oh, it's up for debate. We're not sure whether or not Yasuke is actually uh, a samurai or is he not a bushin, which is a warrior with a sword. It doesn't matter. The fact that people in Japan are pissed off, you should do something to change it. In my opinion, push your release date out, get your shit accurate, and just not... Don't call Yasuke a samurai. Right? Change it up. But the thing is that this game is going to be releasing in about two months. Or maybe... Uh, no, no. I, I believe it's coming out in November. I believe it's coming out in November, right? So you have like, what, three, four months before it comes out? Are you going to change it? Probably not. They probably think that they're better. They're better than everyone else. They're basically saying, who cares what the Japanese people think? We know better. We know their culture better than they do. We basically got consultation from Thomas Lockley, a cocksucker. 
he knows everything. This white boy knows everything about Japanese culture and Yasuke. It's not working out so well for them. <laughs> 